All right, let's move on to the next character, and that is Harsk, Harsk. our iconic ranger character. Now, this is a character who had to change in some ways yeah. because of some of the rules changes that we were looking to implement. And so we wanted to shift Harsk from someone who primarily was illustrated and played uh, using the crossbow, because I yeah. think that that's how you would illustrate the original Harsk, to someone who takes on a different ranger specialty, which is using two weapons at one time. Um, there were other things that came out of this, uh, I remember, you know, in terms of dwarf culture and some of that Absolutely, stuff as well. yeah. So why don't you take us on a journey with Harsk? Well, yeah, Harsk is one of the iconics that changed the most, and and that is that is due to incorporating the uh, the dwarvish culture. We talked a lot about this about creating iconic and and visual themes for for each ancestry. So we'd be able to look at an item and immediately go, oh, that's that's dwarvish, that or that's elven, or that's gnomish. Um, and defy, um, define visually what these things look like and what cultural things that, that those ancestries kind of go for. Hask's equipment uh, has had to change to, to reflect, uh, and his costumes as well, his clothes, has, has had to change to reflect those designs that, that I created uh, for, for the Dwarven culture. Um, so we we kind of like we liked the idea of putting faces on mm -hmm. everything. So they're very very much into uh, that sort of ancestral idea um, where they venerate their ancestors. Um, you can see that there's a kind of like a face on his axe. Yeah, I mean, it's, if you toggle between sort of the Harsk 2.0 image yeah. and the Harsk 2.1 image, you yeah. can really see exactly what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. Looking at this first Harsk illustration, again, this is an awesome dwarf. Mm. I would be happy to okay. publish this. But it, let's talk a little bit about this dagger because that was one of the big things that, that came out of that conversation too was the idea of like maybe dwarves have a dagger that's associated with their clan. That's right. And But the, the original one doesn't have that sword. Oh, yeah? That's not the sword. But the second one has the sword. Exactly. So here yeah. you see with the Harsk 2.1, yeah. you see there's that flat uh, gem on the bottom, or the flat... Uh, the, the pommel. The pommel that the yeah. gem goes into. You can see the gem of, of Harsk's clan. Yeah. And you can see that the, the, uh, the scabbards have a flat end as That's, well, yeah. which was something else that came out of the, the conversations about giving the dwarves their distinctive look. So the difference for me, looking between Harsk... 2.0 and Harsh 2.1 is Harsh 2.1 is the Pathfinder dwarf. You know, like this Harsh one or uh, 2.0 is a perfect dwarf. Yeah, he's a great Harsk dwarf. Harsk 2.1 is a great Pathfinder dwarf. Yeah. And as we're working our way into the visual design of Pathfinder 2nd Edition, we're really trying to give visual identity to our races and stuff. And I think Harsk is a great example of where uh, the, the, col the collaboration between the Paizo editorial staff and you resulted in something that is going to be a part of the brand's you know, Absolutely. visual identity for yeah, a long, long yeah. time. It, and that was the whole part of it, is to, is to make them recognizably Pathfinder. You know, these, this has to be a Galarian dwarf. 